Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, I converted the machine so that it can now be loaded with baseballs. I followed up on baseball a bit and found that the fastest pitch in the records is 108 miles per hour. That's quite substantial. That's like 50 meters per second almost. And this is a heavy ball, heavy and hard. Um, it weighs 141 grams. So that's a lot of energy. Actually, if that would be an arrow, it would be legal to hunt buffalo and bear with it. <laughs> but anyway, I want to find out what happens when a ball like this, pitched by a world-class thrower, um, is hitting something hard. And I want to find out if that could be lethal. So we're first going to shoot it a few times against the archery mat, and then we're going to move on to harder uh, targets. And who knows, in the end, we may even be able to hit a block of ballistic gelatin. That would be great. <laughs> a few details about the launcher. As you see, it's outfitted with about 75 kilograms of a draw weight veins, a large leather pouch. 75 kilograms is what is needed to shoot the baseball at the same 48 meters per second, 108 miles per hour speed that a baseball pitcher would do as a world record. Here you see that I can adjust for the height and that's necessary when I switch to uh, different ammunition or to different band sets, of course. This is the clamp. It's simply a set of like grips that hold this, hold the ball in place. And when you pull this lever, then you see that this notch slips out and allows the latches to open wide. This is actually the mechanism to hold it in place once it's cocked back and you can release it and see there's still some tension from the ropes. And of course this gives you a huge advantage, mechanical advantage. All right, that last hit was a bit low and it hit the table and it broke off the plastic. And also the ball suffered a bit, which may or may not be important for the accuracy. We're moving up to particle boards. It's really hard wood. Let's find out what this baby can do against it. Look at that hit. Okay, I think it's pretty clear. It crashes through the particle board like it wouldn't even be there. <laughs> and the ball has started to really suffer. <laughs> and I think it's time to try if we can hit ballistic gelatin. We're gonna use a closer distance though, because I don't think that there's too many more shots in this ball. Wow, that was something. You can still see that it actually did penetrate the ballistic gelatin, which I wouldn't have thought possible. Um, it only jumped out when the whole block was shifted off and fell to the ground. Not bad. I say that would have killed someone easily. Boynt and Stu from my forum provided this great link. See? Yes, it is possible. And this book shows many, many pages of people that died. And see, it's all pitched ball to chest, pitched ball to head. And over all these years, so many people have died in baseball and many, many of them because they've been hit by a ball. And those certainly haven't been world record pitches. Now that we know that a pitcher can kill you with a fastball, what could that same guy do with a bull ball, which is made of iron? It's several times heavier than the baseball and also very hard. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so you can clearly see the canal. I think it hit it low again because it's so heavy 
and then it passed through the entire block of gelatin and flew right out of the other side and landed over there. Well, I have some newfound respect for these pitcher guys. First of all, the brutality, how hard they can throw is just amazing. But also the accuracy, because see, even with my cannon, it was very, very hard for me to hit that small target. And that's about the same 20 yards distance that they throw at. Okay, so a world record baseball pitcher can kill you with a baseball. And he can, of course, also kill you with a pool ball. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye. Thank you.